back. Today we are celebrating wishes come true. And for more than four decades, my next guest has been giving the wish of joy and inclusion to others on and off screen. At the tender age of seven, one of Holly Robinson Pete's biggest wishes at the time came true on Sesame Street, making an appearance alongside her dad, the great Matthew Robinson, who played the original Gordon. She later went on from, of course, Sesame Street to Jump Street, 21 Jump Street, that is, for her breakout role as Officer Judy Hobbs in the same TV series that also introduced us to Johnny Depp. Well, the show was a huge hit, as we know, and launched Holly to a string of successes showcasing her unique talent and her portrayal of all the characters we love, including the hilarious Vanessa Russell in a classic show, of course, from the 90s and Friday night TV staple, Hanging with Mr. Cooper. Yes. Well, in those memorable roles and others, Holly's awards and activism that garnered her the high honor of having her own star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame last summer. Another wish come true. And now it's that time of the year when we love cozying up and watching Holly's films. It's a tradition for a lot of us in the Tam Fam. And this year, Holly's breaking new ground, starring in the Hallmark Channel's first ever Kwanzaa movie. It's called Holiday Heritage. Take a look. Now, last year, when your grandpa passed, no one was really in a celebratory mood. And uh, I'm afraid this year is not gonna be much better. Don't tell me you and grandma had it out again. Oh, that is an understatement. Mm. Well, you know what grandpa always used to say, family has to stick together, right? Ella, I'm moving to Chicago. What? What? Please welcome back to the Tampa, her fifth appearance, my friend, Holly Robinson Pete. <laughs> It's not lost on me watching that clip talking about family. I know that um, your mother in law, Edna P. Yes. passed away last week. Yes. Um, give Rodney my love. And, you know, family is so important. That's why your movies just really mean something. And seeing that scene, how are you holding up? Uh, I feel terrible that I can't be with Rodney right now. Um, we did a lot of the sort of things that happen after you lose a loved one. Uh, and I did, I came in there, Virgo wife, doing everything, handling everything. I got the obituary, I got this, I got the video, trying to take stuff, pressure off of him because it's, it's, he's a mama's boy. And it was just so sudden and so awful. But, um, you know, my mother-in-law loved the Lord. And so I feel very comfortable and confident that her faith and the faith of my father-in-law will get him through because they were married 62 years. So. These family films, when I saw you said, I've got the first ever Kwanzaa. Film. I was so Come excited. In. You were so proud of this project. I was so proud and I couldn't wait. They said, oh, you know, we're gonna get a, a Kwanzaa expert to be on the set and gonna help walk us through this. I said, uh, I, I know Kwanzaa. <laughs> Cause we celebrated, I've been celebrating Kwanzaa since I was a little girl. Your dad and mom. Right? Yeah, they, they taught me what Kwanzaa was. It, it really didn't come around till about the 60s, but I was a little girl. We the same age as right, right, right. I'm a little older than you. We're babies. Right, right. Uh, but I knew what Kwanzaa was, and I love the idea of celebrating these principles. I feel like my kids celebrating Kwanzaa, they learned more in those seven days after Christmas about their heritage, community, their ancestors, than they did all year in Look school. At them when they were babies, and there. they loved it. Yeah. They lo I can't get them in those outfits anymore. Well, yeah, no. But <laughs> we used to go down and get, have the Ladera Heights and have their little outfits made and. It was just really great. And they celebrate, you know, things that are important to the, the African-American well, community. It is, but it also it piques curiosity from others. I mean, yeah. I've talked to my husband is Jewish. I never had a Seder or break the fast. Right. It's not my faith, but I was curious about it. Yes. I'm always curious about others and their journey. Yeah. That's the best of life, right? When you can learn something. So you don't just have to be a, a black family to watch this film. It, like, like I said, with the best man, these are relatable things and that right. you're learning about others. And you bring people together. Yeah. When I was a little girl in Mount Airy, which is an area outside of Philly, um, I... Uh, okay, wait for it. Oh, we got Philly? Yeah. Oh, listen, oh, every time Philly. you say Philly. Okay. Philly. Okay. See? <laughs> so Mount Airy was the most beautiful melting pot neighborhood. Yeah, we had is. everybody beautiful. there. Yeah, and I used to celebrate Kwanzaa, but I also celebrated 
um, Hanukkah with, yeah. with my neighbors, the Goldbergs. Yeah. Amy and Linda, the twins, Goldberg twins. <laughs> and we used to celebrate, and it was like so cool because yeah. they showed me the menorah. And like we learned. So we need to come together, talk about yes. each other's relate, yes. you know, their religion yes. and I beliefs. I love that. And be I, accepted. I, yeah, they I are. have to ask you, though, about, you know, one of the things you celebrate, and I love this. You celebrate your father's legacy. Yes. Uh, and I saw a social media post of you recently um, where you shared your chance to be on Sesame Street at the time. Girl, I was doing the was most. On. I was doing the most. So my dad had this new job, Sesame Street, and I'm five, right? I want to be on the show. Yeah. But he didn't want me to be in front of the lights and stuff because he, I think he knew that if I got a taste of it, that that's what I want to <laughs> do. And he was right. Because when I got there, I kept trying, I kept saying hi. Hi, Daddy, not hi, Gordon, because there was the other little girl there. She kept, she got to be on the show a lot, and she, I was just so salty about her. <laughs> you were five? I was five and salty and bitter. <laughs> and because I wanted to be on the show, and then sure enough, when I got on the show, I was doing too much, saying too much, and I never got to be back on. <laughs> Coming up, you've been on here five times, and we're going to keep it going. Coming up more <laughs> with Holly Robinson, feed after the break. started on these holiday brownies. We already have 12 dozen of them already. Let's do something different. White chocolate peppermint eclairs. The residents of the nursing home love my brownies. Besides, I don't think they take too kindly to your fancy eclairs. Really, Mom? Really. Merry Ooh. Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. We're here with my friend Holly Robinson. Beef. That was a clip from her upcoming movie, Holiday Heritage on the Hallmark Channel. Listen, this show is all about wishes come true. Yeah. I gotta ask you about the star on the Walk of Fame. Magic oh. Johnson was there. Was this on? Look at you. Yeah. I, I was. And our friend LeVar Burton LeVar is there. Was there. When I, I always look at pictures and wonder what was happening in that moment. What were you thinking in that I moment? couldn't believe it. I mean, when I was a little girl and moved from Philly to, to L.A., I walked down that street and I remember looking for people who looked like me. Like, yeah. I don't, I didn't see a whole lot of black women, but I remember every time I saw one, I'd be like, oh, there's one, right? But I never, ever, ever envisioned that that dream or wish would come true. And that moment was unbelievable. Oh, was, my God, it's beautiful. <laughs> now... Holly and I, we are both uh, Virgos. Yes. And so if you know anything, Virgo, we're we are very, Virgos. Virgos are very detail oriented. Extremely. Do you walk by and shine your star Listen. and make sure there's no, because that's a Virgo. The Virgo I, would be like, okay, I see a little dust on my you, star. You know when you, you know when you leave the, the office building at night and that guy is going through with the, brrr, with the thing, you know? That's you. Yeah, yeah, waxing it up. No, I, I mean, it, 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 we have gone over there and just shined it up a little bit. <laughs> This is such a special moment. The other thing, you are an amazing mom. I have witnessed her in action on so many levels, speaking up for families with children who face disabilities and who need the support. You've just been an advocate and a champion for children and moms. <laughs> and now, one of your babies yeah. is further away from home than any others. Robinson is in Japan, oh getting ready to go to Temple University's campus in Japan. Yes. I, I can't even. Y'all just got a chance to visit a trip of a lifetime. How we many miles there. away is he from home? A hundred million. <laughs> <laughs> He's so far away, and you know, he FaceTimes me every night, um, and it, you know, the time difference is crazy. What was it about Japan that he wanted he to... He has always loved Japanese culture. I think it was those Naruto cartoons, or whatever, <laughs> you know? Like, he watched them in Japanese with English subtitles, and he absolutely loves it there. When you yeah. got on the plane... Yeah. And you're flying away, and your baby bird. Why is all do the you way... try to do this to me every time? <laughs> do you see how Tamron all works? <laughs> it took a lot of glue to get these lashes on, <laughs> and you're about to make me cry. Yeah, hard. I was so emotional. Yeah. I couldn't believe it. Like I got, I started fussing at everybody. That's how you know I'm getting when ready you're, to cry. Yeah. When mom starts start fussing, snapping. that's us dealing with our and anxiety. Like here she goes, and I was just like, I just don't want to leave you. It was like leaving him again. But he's adulting, and he's, you know, we got to let him go, you know, and he's. Gonna, he'll be there for a while, so I just got to make more trips. And more FaceTime. And more FaceTime. <laughs> <laughs> well, congratulations, oh, Robinson you. Temple University. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. And please be sure to catch Holly's 
historic holiday film, Holiday Heritage, December 16th on the Hallmark Channel. Thank you, my darling.